Welcome students, Zman Le'ivrit. It's time for Hebrew. Our Torah portion this week comes from Exodus 10, 1 through 13, 16. And the name of our Torah portion is Bo. It means come or enter. Please open your Search the Sidra workbook to page 15. Let's begin reading our vocabulary. Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Bo el paro ki ani hikhbati et libo ve et lev avadav lema anshiti ototai ela bikirbo Okay lots of new words this week uh, we do have a new name, Paro, which means Pharaoh. And again, we have El Moshe to Moses. And the Yud He Vav He, which we pronounce as Adonai. Another popular vocabulary word we have this week is the Hebrew word Lev. It appears in two different forms. The first form, Libo, which means his heart. The Vav appearing as the vowel sound O following the Hebrew word Lev means his. The Hebrew word Lev, Lamed Vet, means heart. When we add the O to the end, it means his heart. In the next line, Vet Lev Avadav, we find the word heart again. This time it's talking about the heart of his servants. In Hebrew, a single servant is called avad, ein, vet, dalet. Here we have the secondary suffix meaning his, the yud, vav, pronounced av. So lev avadav means the heart of his servant. Let's take a look now at challenge teaching number four. From Exodus 31, 16 and 17, it says that between God and the sons of Israel, Shabbat is an oat, a sign forever. Incidentally, this sentence, a sign between God and the sons of Israel, has become part of the Shabbat liturgy known as the Vishamru. And continuing with the end of question four, what did God say he wants to perform now that Pharaoh's heart is hardened? We're going to have to look up at the second to last vocabulary line of our lesson today. It says, Ototai ele. And it means, my signs, these. The Hebrew word ot means sign. Ototai means my sign. I want you to recognize the yud at the end of this word as being the possessive form for my. Now it's interesting to see how this word ototai is written in Hebrew. It's written with a double tav. Usually in Hebrew there are no double letters, so this is a very odd occurrence, with a special significance, I'm sure. The Hebrew word ot means sign, and here we have ototai ele, these are my signs. So the Lord wants to perform His signs, now that Pharaoh's heart is hardened. Let's take a look at that word, hardened Pharaoh's heart. If you look at the fourth line, let's read from the English, from the left side. It says, because I have hardened. And underneath it, in parenthesis and small text, it says, literally, made heavy. This is where learning Hebrew roots comes in very important. Let's read the Hebrew. Ki ani hikvadti. Ki means because, ani means I, and 
Hichibati means have hardened, but literally it means have made heavy. Many of us know the Hebrew word kavod, which means holy or weighty or heaviness. This is the exact root used here, that the Lord made Pharaoh's heart heavy. And speaking of roots, did you recognize the name of this Torah portion? The name is Bo. It comes from the Hebrew root Bet Aleph, meaning to come. Remember we spoke about that two weeks ago? I hope that you're recognizing the roots that you're learning. It's very important. So continue studying and memorizing as much as you can. Let's close today by reading the first sentence of Torah portion Bo from the Torah scroll on the left-hand side of the page. This week we only have one paragraph break, so it's very easy to find the first sentence of our Torah portion. Are you ready? Let's begin. Ve'yomer Adonai el Moshe, bo el paro, ki eni hichbadti et libo, ve'et lev avadav, lema'an shiti ototai ele, b'kir bo. Ah, mamash nechmad, very nice. You're coming right along. Continue reading and studying your Hebrew, and I'll see you next week. Litrot v'shavua tov. <laughs>